This is Muvumba Perimeter, one of the largest marshland in the eastern part of Rwanda, with 1,750 hectares, which is equivalent to 50% of the total marshland area in Rwanda. It is located around 158 kilometers from Kigali, the capital city of Rwanda. The marshland is potentially known for a fertile soil which attracts hundreds of local rice farmers who are grouped into Muvumba Rice Growers Cooperative with around 1,085 members. However, rice farming in some parts of the marshland has been hampered by its soil salinity, which requires intensive and proper management for better yield. Olive Tuishime took a bold step forward to address this issue. She is a University of Rwanda lecturer and PhD student at Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences in Sweden. She is supported by UR Sweden program. Her research seeks to evaluate different irrigation and drainage strategies intended to manage soil salinity and nitrogen losses in rice production in the Muvumba irrigation scheme. My research is about salinity management and uh, nitrogen losses in rice production. Uh, in this part of this marshland, we are in Muvumba uh, P8. This part was uh, not uh, being used by the farmers due to salinity. So the aim of this research was to find strategies of managing the salt and uh, nitrogen losses. And uh, we have been doing this for five seasons. This is the fifth season. And we can see there is an improvement. We are using different uh, drain types. Uh, deep drain of 60, uh, 120, and we have 120 which is controlled. So at this stage, we are doing the last experiment about greenhouse gases measurement. So the first season were dedicated on salinity management. And uh, now we are on the last stage of our research where we are measuring greenhouse emitted from rice fields. This is a weather station, so then uh, it's, it's closed like this, then when I come I just open. And it helps us to know different climatic uh, data that we need for our experiment. Like rainfall, this is a rain gauge. This one is uh, just uh, showing the wind speed. And this is the wind direction, so then the wind is. And um, so when you want to read, you just come here and you display, and you can see different data that is recorded, like uh, the rainfall. Today, the rainfall today, there was no rainfall, but since we said, you can see the number, it's 43 millimeters. And you have the wind, wind direction, you can see the air temperature now it's 78.2 degrees Fahrenheit and we can also have the air relative humidity which is 37.2 percent dew point so it's just different uh, parameters that you can read from this and we do this every day every evening we come here and we record different um, data that it has recorded <laughs> In actual fact, the issue of soil salinity has been observed a long time ago. At least 10 hectares of this marshland might be affected, which is a huge blow for rice growers. Nibyo koko hano muri iki gishanga cy'umuvumba ni gishanga cyateganijwe guhinga cyatunganirijwe umutsu this marshland is meant for growing rice however there has been in some zone a slow down in yield production due to salinity issues it is the same scenario in this area where we horera ko kubushakashatsi nako kagaragaye icyo kibazo cy'umuntu the food was a lot of consequences over soil salinity, but currently there is an improvement with this research by Olive. 
In the beginning, rice could wait while growing and we couldn't reap anything but now I can see rice is in good condition and the soil has become more fertile.